Hey guys, it's Peg. We're gonna talk about hostess coaching. Hostess coaching is so important. The more excited and the more engaged your hostess is on her party, the more successful that party is going to be, I promise you. So, we have to go over a few ground rules with her before we get started. We make it sound fun, because it is fun, but um, we do want her to know a few things that's going to contribute to the success of her party. And uh, we want those orders rolling in. So, if you don't have an engaged hostess, your party is going to go. It's happened to all of us. And we kind of live and learn, and now we have some awesome tips that's going to really help you with your party and get it booming. So, hostess, she needs to invite 25 to 50 people max. Her close friends, her family, coworkers, people in her circle that she sees on a regular basis. Not somebody that she sees once a year, not a high school associate that she hasn't seen in 20 years. We want the group small, intimate, interactive. We want people to feel special that they're in there and feel welcome. So that's the number one rule. Make sure she only invites 25 to 50 people max. The second thing we need to do is coach her to comment, like, be engaged with the posts. If she's tried the product, that is fabulous. She can speak to the products you post and how she likes them. Um, a selfie of her would be amazing if she's not too shy. Um, but interacting, she can also post questions on the party like, hey Peggy, can you tell me a good lip color to wear out for the dance? I'm wearing a black dress. Um, can you tell me what foundation I would wear? I'm really fair. Just a few questions like that, and that keeps her audience watching. They know that she's involved. Um, another thing that is huge is a welcome video. So when you first start, you're going to do a welcome video. I know people hate videos, but believe me, it gets easier. 30 seconds max. Introduce yourself. Tell them how you're connected with a hostess. These people more than likely don't know you, you're a stranger. So if you connect yourself with a hostess, how you know her, then the trust is established. They trust the hostess, so they'll trust you because you, they know that there's a connection there. So that is really going to help benefit you. Make it as personal as possible. So this party is for the hostess. Post a picture up of her on the cover photo. Say something about her. Is it her birthday? Is she going out this weekend? Something fun. And uh, the more personal it is, the more it's going to work for you. Also timing. Make sure the hostess is going to be available for those days and nights that you're going to post. So if she's very limited in her time, maybe a one day party would work. If, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> and my dog. Um, if she's available in the evening, just make sure. Oops, sorry about that. Um, oh, one more thing. When somebody orders, make sure she posts a thank you on the group and tag the person that ordered, thanking them for their order to show her appreciation. That is absolutely huge. Okay, guys, let's get those parties booked. You can do it. Bye.